everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today in this video i am going to share with you how i got improved my english from zero to intermediate level i'm not fluent yet so i can share like how to be fluent or something but i know if you do these seven tips that i'm going to share with you in the future i mean in the letter you can be gain your level like increase your level from what the level are you in so this is an action plan and also youtube's gonna be help me let's go okay our first tip is start journaling this is that i used to do but sometimes i kind of feel lazy to do but i do anyways so it's okay if you do it in the morning like in the next day morning or at the end of the day it depends how the mood it is especially i do writing journaling in english like i do journaling when i feel sad or worry about something this is how it goes and you can also do scripting too so i wish you good luck so let's move to second our second tip is to get improve your english listening to podcast i have been doing this for months so far so good to me because i could heard how native and non-native speakers using english naturally in real life and also i could focus on pronunciation and i could improve with it my favorite podcast channel is real life english on youtube and also you can hear some spotify podcasts too and there are some podcasts that i've been listening and also if you want to more care about your pronunciation it's really okay if you open the cc if there are any unknown words at that time you can search for the meaning by using google dictionary i'm not telling you to guys convert to your mother language or like sinhala to english or english to sinhala because it's not gonna be worth it i hope you understand this tip and don't give up fight it okay when it comes to this point you need to start read beginner books than advanced books like fairy tale books comics or something like that and you can use wattpad for read stories actually it's for me i'm not that much of a book reader or something i'm not a book lover but i read magazines and some of poems okay finally we came to the favorite part of watching tv series shows vlogs or maybe more 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 especially i really like this one everyone say they got improve their english by watching friends like rm say too but it's not for everyone i mean it has so many idioms phrasal verbs that as a beginner don't know so if you want to start as a beginner i think i really recommend you to watch some cartoons like loud house spongebob those are my favorite and there are so many like vlogs too cartoons too you can search and watch on youtube so like that don't be upset if there anything that you can understand you can search for the meaning and get right know about those are so these are my favorite vlogs channels if you like it you can follow them all the links in description below after you found the meanings you can start to write a sentence from that verb and it helps you to keep on with it tip number five is listening to songs and read lyrics out loud this one is solid idea because i've been doing this for months or i think it's for years i feel so good because i feel like how i feel like i don't know i'm still doing it because especially reading lyrics but i sing them all <laughs> and i don't choose this lyrics video because in the description box or some comment section you can see the lyrics and then you can with it i'm taking as my teacher guide from youtube guys because it has everything at one place sixth one is learn from mistakes yeah we do ma make mistakes i do i still do i am right now too 
because I know when I'm talking like I'm trying to talk with you I do make mistakes but it's okay we all are humans so the thing is guys if you are staying the same position that as you were and even now are gonna be make it like it's not gonna be work out too so you have to take the first step and those are the channels that really helps me to learn from mistakes like just some of grammars uh, expand my vocabulary and uh, gained my english level like increase the level and yeah so i put all the links in the down below because youtube's giving me a good guide as a teacher and that's how it goes let's move to our number seven this one is my previous one guys and it shows the real color of my skin <laughs> yeah actually it is your vocabulary and your confidence to talk with the other people too because when you're trying to do something on your own and then you can do with someone too like I am doing like now I am just talking to camera and also I'm talking with you guys so it depends how the confidence that we have uh, and you can gain the confidence so for sure 